A lot of instructors want you to find academic journals within our databases. So with a database like EBSCOhost, uh, you'll often search and look for peer-reviewed items. Those are going to be from scholarly sources. They will get rid of newspapers and magazines. But what happens if you want to search for newspapers and magazines and you don't want academic journals? Let's do a search for something like labor unions and um, economics. Do a search and there you can limit on your search page, but you can also, once you get your results, you can scroll down slightly to source types. And you can see that of all the results, there are 2,809 results from academic journals. There are 1,100 from magazines and 584 from newspapers. So if you don't want the academic journals, you would go under source types and you would just select the newspapers or magazines types that you want, and it will automatically limit to those results. You can combine more than one of those. It'll just take one or two clicks to, to pull those together. So now we have 1,684 results. None of these are going to be from peer-reviewed sources. If you wanted peer-reviewed sources, you could try, but you really shouldn't get many. In this case, one snuck through, um, but they really shouldn't show up because you've not limited to academic journals. You've only limited to newspapers and magazines underneath your source type. So that's one way you can exclude academic journals. If you have any questions about other features with an EBSCOhost, please don't hesitate to reach out to your